everybody. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. This is now class number three and the end of the weight loss going deeper hormones class. Okay, we're talking about weight loss hormones in this month. And we've been talking about some really important things. We've talked about insulin, we talked about ghrelin. And this week, we're going to talk about another hormone. Before I do that, though, I do want to tell you, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And and if you have the notifications, you go ahead and click on notifications so that when I release a video, it'll send you a notification that a new video is out. And that way you don't miss anything. Okay? Give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. And don't forget, if you miss some videos, go back, get caught up. Let's keep going on this journey together. Okay? All right. So let's talk about the third big weight loss hormone. The third weight loss hormone that I want to talk about is called leptin. Now leptin, leptin was discovered, oh, some years ago. It was very, very exciting because there were some um, testing that was done that was really very promising as far as weight loss was concerned, that if you had animals that were leptin deficient and they were obese and you gave them leptin, su supplemented their leptin, they lost weight. It was so super exciting. And so all this research started happening in leptin and then come to find out like most things in most people, things aren't quite that simple. We can't just take a leptin supplement and then all of a sudden we lose weight. That would be awesome, but that's not how it works. So, you know, it's funny when I was in my holistic nutrition certification course some years ago, I talked about the concept of bio-individuality, which basically is, you know, this wonderful word that just means we all have our individual ways of being in our bodies, how our bodies work, what works best for us. So everything doesn't work for everybody. And leptin is no, ex you know, exclusion there from that. It would be nice if it wasn't, but it is. So Here's the thing, what they ended up finding out in these studies was that maybe there were 10% or so of people who might, or of the animals really, who were probably leptin deficient genetically and everybody else, that was not the problem. So, now what? Well, here's the thing. Leptin is the hormone that signals fullness, okay? Also, leptin, if you have extra body fat, on your body, your leptin levels should be a little bit elevated because this is the hormone that says we've had enough. We don't need any more. And matter of fact, we can just stop eating. We're done. We need to get rid of a little bit of this extra that we have. So if you're overweight, you have a little bit more leptin around and you would think, well, that should be a good thing, right? Because if I have more leptin, then I shouldn't be as hungry and I should be able to lose weight. Well, this is what I mean about it being complicated. So where it gets complicated is if you've been overweight for a while, here's where insulin comes back into the picture. A lot of folks who are overweight are also insulin resistant, especially if it's been some time. If you're young and overweight, it's usually a little less of a problem, although insulin resistance can happen at young ages too. So here's the thing, the insulin and the leptin kind of work together. And when there's insulin resistance, which is pre-diabetes actually, and you're resistant to this, to the influence of insulin, often you are also resistant to the influence of leptin. So that makes it harder to lose weight also makes it harder to put away all of the extra sugar in your blood. So that's why you have mildly elevated blood sugars. That's that pre-diabetes. So it's a, it's a spectrum. Insulin resistance comes first, pre-diabetes, then diabetes. It's just this range of how things work. Um, so you would think with leptin that if you have more around because you've got more body fat, that you should be less hungry and then you should lose weight. Here's the problem. It doesn't work exactly that way. 
it, you do probably have more leptin if you have more body fat, but because of the influence of insulin, which we've got to figure out how to tamp down that insulin, which is where that first video on hormones came in. That's why I started with insulin. Insulin is crucial at, in dealing with weight loss. We can start knocking down that insulin and all of how much insulin we have and start breaking some of this weight down. Leptin starts to get back more in balance. The other thing that gets leptin in balance is like what I talked about on the video on ghrelin is the processed foods. The flour and the sugar just get that leptin out of whack and it just makes it really hard for your body to respond appropriately to the fullness signals that you should be feeling. You end up feeling way more of the ghrelin, way more of the need to eat as opposed to being satisfied and full. So. The processed foods are a big thing, the insulin effect is huge, and trying to get that weight down with um, spreading out the, the meals and, and focusing your eating time periods within a confined number of hours so that the rest of them, you're really avoiding the effect of insulin is really gonna help you as far as weight loss is concerned, okay? Well, that's the series on hormones. I'm so glad you all were here. Thank you for joining me. Um, please, if you have some comments, you have some things you want me to talk about, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget, like I said, to subscribe and get your um, notifications. I'll be cooking up some new stuff for us to be talking about in the next series. But thank you for being here. Share with whomever you think might be helped by some of these videos. And there's a lot of us who really, really struggle with weight and, um, and need some help. So if you know somebody who needs to um, get some help with controlling and dealing with their weight, please share with them these videos, share with them the weight loss basics videos and let me know how you all are doing. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.